just to let you know, last time we left our heroes, you guys have made what was supposed to be a month-long trek into the, in, until you reached the Riestes Kingdom in less than a couple of days. Well, we were on wagon instead by foot. Yeah, but a wagon a month-long trip into three days for a normal wagon. I thought I, we still had like three or four days travel. Well, you still have like two days until you reach a uh, Karn village, to be precise. But yeah, there's something affecting this wagon because that time difference is ridiculous. Mm. You seem very confused at the fact that the, t the man who claims he is a chief warrior says that currently you're in the Oriestes kingdom. Something that you assumed was about a month away. And you see that um, Barbarous is kind of smirking a little bit. I'm more looking at Silent and I'm like, isn't this the guy from the note? Oh, wait, I'm going to pull out the note. Do I, I still have it, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to pull it out and reread it. It is him, right? Okay, could you reread it for us, please? Just Let a quiz. Let me open the... Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I don't think I wrote all the down. <laughs> steel armor. I wrote down <laughs> steel armor from Babaru's empire and attack Horn Village. That's all I wrote. <laughs> okay. uh, so it it was basically a note signifying a job. It was tasking these soldiers to steal Baharuth Empire soldier armor and then disguise themselves as such and attack the goblin village along with the village in the Riestes kingdom known as Karn village to basically search and kill the, ch the chief warrior, uh, Gazif Stronoff. Mm. Okay, now I wrote what to do. <laughs> um... It, all, it doesn't have a signature. All it has is, like, the symbol of what looks to be a blue rose on it. Hmm. I'm just going to offer it to him. What is this? It's something we found, and I thought you would be interested. He looks at you very strangely, and he... You are inhuman, and he... He's very cautious around inhumans. And he cautiously takes it from your hands and reads it he was like and he looks at you with a very stern look in his eye and he's like did you get this these are like the goblin village they were attacking it we loot the bot it was on one of them so even what he said was right even the slain theocracy wants me dead a very interesting and a blue rose that can only mean one thing this was from church itself. Usually the slain theocracy for its flag has a candlestick. He pulls out what looks to be a tattered flag that is white nature um, as a border on it and what looks to be uh, kind of Caesar um, leaf things on each side. I'm actually going to give you guys a handout with a picture of it. This is what the flag looks like. It's a very elaborate uh, candle. But uh, for the members of the actual church, like the priests, they wield a different flag that has a, a flower on it. A blue rose, specifically. This is slightly distressing. Does this mean war with you and the other kingdom? Slain theocracy? We've been at war with the other two kingdoms for a, longer than I've been alive. Mm. No need to worry. My life was almost taken from me not a day ago. I would have ended up like my men if it wasn't for a very, very kind magic caster. Question. Does he have any men around him or any other guards or s someone else? He is entirely alone. It just seems weird. Again, he reiterates, like, you look around and he was like, My men are all dead. If it wasn't for the actions of that kind magic caster, I would be dead too. Do you know who the magic caster was? Yes. 
He gave me his name, and I will never forget it for as long as I live. He called himself Ainz Ugaun, very powerful magic caster. Had a woman clad entirely in black armor next to him. Know her name though. I was just back, riding back to the Riestes Kingdom when I ran into you, folk. Didn't you just say he was alone? I was on horseback. No, the magic caster. You said he was alone. Now there's a black armor next to him. No, 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 no. He was talking about Ainz Ugaun. He had a person clad in black armor next to uh Ainz. I'm saying earlier you said he you said he was all alone. Now you're saying person. Oh the person in the black armor, she re really did not do anything, so I tend to forget her presence. Uh this magic caster, what did he look like? <laughs> he was clothed in very fine garb. Clearly that of a magic caster. Purple robes, a lot of bones on on the top of those robes, and, and a mask that had red and green on it. Wielded what looked to be a golden staff. Fine. And we recognize that name right from the game. Yes. Yeah, it's a guild. Don't know anybody you know named that. Name guild. It, you don't know anyone by that name. Description <laughs> sounds familiar, but I can't put a finger on it. Oh. Well, to find we him. were heading in that direction anyway. All, all I ask is that you may be in the company of Barbarous. I ask that you folk do not make trouble in the kingdom. Wasn't planning. There are many adventurers that would take great pleasure in taking your lives. It's kind of rude. So tread lightly. As long as Maybe. they're ready to answer with theirs, I'm not complaining. Let's not kill people. It may be rude, but it is. It will ring true. I just ask you tread lightly and carefully. He for the warning. I'm there's no trouble. I have no major qualms with inhuman, but I simply wish for this kingdom be, to be peaceful as much as possible. <laughs> that's funny. He's not smiling. That's fine. I still say that. We did go from one kingdom to the next. Oh, and I forgot to show you he looks like. Pretty much the same as my drawing. Yay! <laughs> well, I know this out of character, but what, is, what does it look like he's wearing? Um, out of character? No, well, I know out of character. What do you yeah. Okay, in character, he looks like he's wearing heavy armor. Beat up? Very, at the moment. Does Weapons? he look beat up? Very, at the moment. Ah. Weapons? Great sword upon his back. Does it look special at all, or does it just look like a regular great sword? Regular great sword. I just eye the sword on his back. Uh, do you need healing, sir? Thank you for your concern, but I will be able to make it to the kingdom without no- without healing, no problem. I appreciate your concern, however. He bows his head slightly. Well, we should be getting on our ways, so we don't have to- so we get further before it might hit. Yeah, that is true. I it was a pleasure meeting you, and I'll stick out my hand to shake you. Gets down from his horse to shake your hand. And I'll dump 10 points of healing in. <laughs> nice. Can I get a sleight of hand from you? <laughs> it's not really sleight of hand, it's just on contact that happened. I know, but you're doing this without his knowledge. Oh, he can know for all I, all I care. It's, just, it's going to happen no matter what. <laughs> I don't care if he realizes or not. <laughs> he, like, once no, you, like, once, guess... he, once he grabs my hand, he heals, and then that's it. Okay, so as you grab his hand, he notices that some of, like, you notice that a large gash on his shoulder across his mid chicken just start knitting itself back together and the blood starts going back in. Like, he notices this and he looks at you. He's like, I appreciate it. In return, might I offer some advice? It'll take you at least two more days to reach Karn Village. Points! Directly behind him, slightly to the right, he was like, You see those trees in exist in the distance. Oh, yeah. What about You them? do indeed see, like, a, a forest of some sort. There is an old, never-used, ruined temple. It has been abandoned for many, many years. If you wish to camp there for the night, that would probably be your best bet to stay away from adventurers' eyes. And you are sure of this? Yes. The adventurers don't go there. 
for the simple fact that there hasn't been monster sighting there in over 20 years. Oh. Then I have to say thank you for your advice. It's no problem. Now, I must get back to my king. Gets back on his court horse and he gives you a very kind nod without smiling and simply trots away. I look to Barbus and I'm like, so how did we travel that fast? Oh, that is a spell I used. Yeah, I figured. I'd like to fight him someday. I'm sure he'd be fun to fight. Spell I created myself. It's called Swift Wind. Oh crap, I forgot to use his voice. Shit. <laughs> I'm forgetting he has an accent. That is my bad. <laughs> this, it's called Swiftwind. Mm. Allows anyone in my vicinity, as long as it's within 10 feet, to travel as fast as I am going. Well, let's get moving. Oh boy. So you are traveling. Um, 10th? Yes. Oh, are you there? He said yes. yes. I'm here. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't hear you at first. You suddenly hear uh, this coming from your shoulder. Okay, I start petting the dog, and I start looking around to see if anything might be uh, coming our way. It's. It seems to be focused not on you, but a particular section of the woods behind you guys. Can I get a perception check from all of you, please? Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh my gosh. Peter's moving and slow. It's fine. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> so, um... Still waiting on one. No, it's all there. Five players, five rolls. Oh. All right, so I sent this and also silent, so kind of confuzzled me. Um, uh, Vermilion, um, you are way too, right now, you're way too distracted by the fact that, well, currently you are busy savoring the last bit of fish in your arsenal, and you're way too distracted to care about anything else in the world except for this beautiful fish. <clears throat> So, smoke to perfection, nice, and not too hard, not too soft, just cook perfectly. <laughs> Ball, unfortunately, you you will not be able to perceive anything either. You might as well be asleep again on the top. Too busy trying to determine, how can I get more things out of this guy? He is a merchant after all. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what I am doing. That's <laughs> he might have. Uh, Rosu, synth, and silence. You hear this in the background. Snapping of leaves. The rustling of the trees. You see them. Oh, do you see them. <clears throat> Bearing down on huh. you. There appears to be... Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. There appears to be trolls. Oh, no. They seem intent on getting that cart. Are they gaining on the cart? They're running towards it, yep. Could I ask how far away from the us are they right now? They're currently running towards your position. No, how many feet are they away? Uh, so we know our spells wise. About 200 feet. <sighs> Still too f Okay, uh... Right oh. now, they are currently running across, um, they are currently running across what seems to be a bare patch of land, where there's just, like, barely any, like, like, anything to hide behind, like, sand or anything. Alright, I call out to, I call out to everyone and tell them that there seems to be enemies moving in on our position. Yeah, hey, I see somebody it. spoke up. Um, <laughs> well, I'm He's looking like, through my book and I'm oh. like, okay. Like, I'm just sitting here quiet, like, are they just sit there and just watch them do it? Like, uh... Is the cart... Because you're, like, too you're too busy trying to figure out how to haggle this guy, and then all of a sudden, the enemy's on the horizon. Mine? <laughs> are, is, are we mo is the, uh, is the cart moving? Mm -hmm. Or are we all... Uh, as stationed? soon as you s hear the words, enemies on the horizon, you see that, um, Barbarus is casting a spell, and the, uh... Wagon is slowly disappearing. Invisibility. Ice. 
What? I'm, I'm on top of it. Do I just fall down or am I on top of it? Uh, no, it's invisible, not, not, not <laughs> intangible. Okay, so I'm just standing on an invisible thing. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Is he invisible too? Uh, currently, uh, only, only the only Barbarous and the girls inside are currently, and the little girl and the little boy are currently invisible. You uh. see that the uh, Minotaur uh, woman, she actually volunteers to fight with you guys. Oh, All right. Well, if this turns out right, nobody has to fight anymore. Well, we might as well get them out of the way, in case they have, you know, others. <laughs> so they're 200 feet. Away. And they're closing in fast. I cast elemental weapons on my on my sword. I set the element of I set the element of fire. Already taking advantage of that spell stuff I gave you, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for this, haven't you? But, duh. I'm gonna cast false life on myself. <laughs> you just gonna play dead? <laughs> no, I, I believe it gives her temporary hit points. I think yeah, I can send it. Gives her temporary hit points. I was thinking of using the original thing to read this bucket. Yep. So she needs to roll one. I totally forgot how to roll. How do I do that again? Um, oh, off to the go. left, there's a thing that you can roll 1d4. Okay. Looks like a dice. And then plus four. Seven. Nice. I'm gonna stop eating fish and then prepare my greatsword. <laughs> Good to know. So okay, let go. me pull you guys over to the map. Give me a moment. I'm going to cast Bless on everyone, level 1. So everybody gets a d4 on their saving throws, as well as making an attack roll. And when they get to a 100 feet away from me, I'll attack. Okay. I guess something's cracking his knuckles. Actually, uh, could you guys put yourself on the battle map here? Oh, there it is. And we're still technically on the cart, but it's invisible, right? Yep. Okay. Unless you decide to hop off. Oh, boy. Well, I want to test out this new spell, too. So many things to try out! How big is the cart? Not big enough for all of you. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out our spacing. Do we only see this tiny section? Or are you going to, like, expand, like, the whole... Oh, I'm going I'm going to do that. Give me a moment. I'm fixing some things. I got a whole nother spell slot to use. Nice. Hey, cheeseburgers! Man, this fun playing D&D while trying to build a character for a whole different game. What this is? <laughs> oh, they're very big. They are large size. Yeah, they're trolls. Big boys. Bought trolls before. Oh. And multiplying. Oh. Oh. I definitely want to try that one. As they are getting closer to you. Okay. That you aren't quite human. They start slowing down. One in the front, you notice sort of holds up his hand. Do any of you speak giant? <laughs> Actually, do. Sweet, then you will understand what this guy is saying. In a very guttural tone, he's like, There is human! I smell human! And I'll reply in giant that the human is ours. Don't you dare try to take it. You get in way of food? You come closer and I'll cut your head off. And this is your one and only warning. And then I flash my my flame sword in front of him. This one in the back, it kind of looks. You can tell, like from just his face, that it's a little bit less, um, well, intelligent than the others. Just it's like gnawing on a fingernail, and he was like, "I was not very nice. You're not very nice, horn man." <laughs> And I just look at the one into the front. Just back off, and nobody needs to be hurt here. We found the human first, so the human is ours. One in the front, who clearly is the leader, is like, Not if we kill you. The other seem to grunt in agreement. Can I take this opportunity? Except for the except for the one in the rear who's still like very confused about this whole entire situation. Don't say I didn't warn you. And I'll cast Valor's present. It's a DC 13 wide, but DC 13 intelligent save. Oh. Can you describe who you are currently okay. looking? Modus says, don't say I didn't warn you. You see, he starts to grow 
swell bigger than he already is his horns start to align and get even bigger and swoller his wings start to sprout from his back his canines start to grow even bigger from his mouth fires starting to swell lightning is barking from horn to horn and fires appearing on his tail and he's his feet are turning into cloven hooves and he's looking like a truly different person a demon mm -hmm. oh damn wow one in the back is like again he's like I don't want to fight. Well, they have to make their save because I just activated it. Yeah, I know, but he's commenting on the on the position he is currently in. I hurt my ears. Stop it. Sorry. You haven't really hurt my ears that bad. I'm just tasting. <laughs> For some reason, accidentally bumped it. Okay. That's a fail. The DC's 13. I don't know why it's set at 10, but it's 13. <laughs> yeah, they all fail. Awesome. That is awful. They have an intelligence of seven. They're not very bright. Ah. Uh. Let's see. Let's just roll the d10 first. Two. <laughs> okay. And 2d12. That just shot up to 12. Okay. There we go. 2d12. And we'll have this as lightning because it's fitting for me. So 21 damage total. Two fire. 19. <clears throat> oh, and they are frightened of me. Awesome. I attempted to throw myself <laughs> against you. <laughs> need you guys to make initiative. They are about to attack. Oh, I'll accept this one currently. Well, if they're frightened of me, they can't get any closer to me. Ah, dang it. I got to click on my character. Sorry. Oh, zoo. I'm sorry. Oh, I on there. Initiative. That's awesome. It's still a six. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. They're scared of me, so they can't even get closer to me. So they're just stuck back there. Are they? That's how fear works. This technically does. <clears throat> yes, it does tech I mean if this wasn't the new world and these are different types of trolls they all go berserk well, they still have fear they just have a different thing that happens to them as well so this one is not going to be participating in the fight ball oh i go before them mm -hmm. i can guarantee okay. you it okay then i will move right there and i go lightning out. we all see ball jump off the wagon 16 hit this one? Yes. 10 damage. <clears throat> As the lightning strikes its chest, it get you see- are you here? <sighs> it seems very cross with your presence currently. Oh, and that's- Is that it? Uh, yeah. Okay. This one will take the opportunity to proceed. It is known by self-sacrifice. Proceed to cut off its left arm. Put the damage down. Oh my gosh. As it's cut off its entire arm, you see that it is no longer fearful of you. It seems very cross with your presence. So it's going to go after you. First off, it's going to go with a bite. That misses. That misses. That misses. <laughs> this one will proceed to you. Does it do the same? Cut off its arm? All these guys do the same except for this one. He's just sitting on the ground looking at a daisy. And he proceeds to pick said daisy and then eat it and spits it out. <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> really? <laughs> we already Vermilion. have a dog. <laughs> Vermilion, what are you doing? I'm gonna run towards this troll and I would like to rage. And as I'm running towards him, I'm just gonna taunt him by saying, Fight me, big guy! And then I'll... Uh, I'll do a downward slash. I will eat you! Gonna do that down there. No, that does not hit. Oh, uh, wait. One. Add a I'm, D4. Are you going to roll severity? No, add a D4. You're blessed. It's still a natural one. <laughs> still a one, yeah. It's still a natural one. I'm going to roll severity. But he uh, might have low armor class. Oh, that's actually not bad. Um, you go for the slash. And... You're the uh, as soon as he says I'm going to eat you, uh, you kind of twitch a little involuntarily because he's large size. So you quit twitch involuntarily, and it, your sword buries itself into the ground. Uh, uh shit. Okay. And, and it's no. very firmly in there. So. Mm. And that's all. Okay. Synth, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to use body augment Ooh, slash. Up all. Yep, and then I'm gonna use uh, body augment slashing to. Uh, that does not hit. Add a d4. Still doesn't hit. 
13 right, doesn't hit. Then... That doesn't hit either. All right, then that's all I can do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whoa, does whoa, it get advantage? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. are you trying to flank right now? Yeah, but I can't get directly behind them. Oh, then, okay, so currently, this troll right here is currently focused on balls, so you will get advantage. So the first one will hit, and you would have to roll a d4 to see if the second one does. Ah! It does not. <laughs> Fucker. Well, okay, so your first unarmed strike barely gets through this thing's natural armors. But you do, like, see its muscle, like, twinge in pain as you hit it. Well, it's the start. That'll be all I can do. Silence. I kill you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start off my turn by moving forward. Oh, wait. How far do I need to move? Sorry. Um, I should have probably looked this beforehand. Um, I, ah, I have too many spells for my own good. Um, what? Too many guess... spells? Too many spells. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never too many spells. <laughs> So that won't hit them. So I'm going to cast Shatter right there, which what is do? that. Let me send that once to that. Nope. Wait. <laughs> uh, I take it, it takes a constitution saving throw? Guess Apparently. So. <laughs> it does thunder shit. damage, so. And it does thunder damage. Save a holy sh Oh my god. Okay then. Well. <laughs> yeah, One more. Ah. Oh. oh! Wow. Once again, my Constitution spell. is the best stat! Yeah, I probably should have used something like Ow. Whispers. That's probably even better. Yeah, Constitution <laughs> is their best stat, but. Yeah. Well. It may not be the smartest, but they are very healthy. <laughs> but do they take half damage? Wait, do they? If it fails? Oh, yeah, they do get half damage. Nice. So that's. I see. Half of 13. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyway. 6.5 <laughs> over to 6. 6. Just 6. Okay. Understood. I'll record that. Um, Minotaur lady goes. And she will help Vermilion by attempting to grapple this one. She will get advantage since you are currently distracting that one, Vermilion. And he is now grappled. Any attacks upon this particular troll will now have advantage. Rozu, your turn. Hello? Yeah. What are you doing? Come I on. can't do much. <laughs> I really can't do much. My whole plan's for thrown out the window. <laughs> well, that's, that's what happens when... When... Uh, a half oni decides, hey, <laughs> these are our humans, okay? <laughs> when he throws out his crazy wings, he's throwing out his edgelord abilities. <laughs> hey, I expected like an intimidation roll, but I didn't get that. Okay, this one. Not enough time, damn it! In the far <laughs> back, I'm just going to toll up the dead on it. Ooh. Could you ping it again, please? Okay. So it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Ah, dang it, it just barely made it. <laughs> so it gets half damage, I believe. Uh, mix. Yeah, half of 1d8. It says, or take 1d8 damage. There's no having. Ah, dang it. It's like Unfortunately, he doesn't half. take any. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, but I'm going word for word. Yeah. Ball, it is your turn again. <laughs> uh, so my so my balance present doesn't do anything more. Yeah, currently no. Okay, um, that's fine. Then no, just do what I do. Now smash the one in front. Of smash that like button. <laughs> Plus a D four, I guess, but I'm not even sure if that would fucking affect it. I don't think that would affect it at all because that would be a miss regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's my that's my turn. Yay. Next are the trolls. First, this one. Attack ball again. Miss. 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 Ooh, hit. Awesome. I'll use my channel divinity, Thunder's Revenge, and I have the damage, and I deal 2d10 damage, plus my paladin level too. So, what level are you? Like for four, right? 
Bro, 16 damage, lightning damage to him. It's cool. Wow. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah, this, I'm an ass to fight. <laughs> this one will attempt to get out with a strength throw versus hers. What's half of... Are we rounding up or rounding down for a half damage? Rounding down. Rounding down? So he does not succeed in getting out of her uh, strength. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, next, Vermillion. Can I pull out my sword without a strength check, or do I need to do a strength check? The ground. Pulling it from uh, the ground. You need a strength check. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pull it. Ooh, yes! Even though that's a strength saving throw, I'll oh, okay, okay. keep it. Oh wait. Pull it this... out just fine. Oh, okay. I'll just keep it. It's it's fair. Okay. I'll just I'll just take it. Okay. That's Great my action, doing. right? I would consider that as a free action, honestly. It's a free action. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try to hit this one again. Uh, it's like, as soon as you pull it up, you can attempt to, like, slash it as it's coming up. <laughs> 16 to hit. Oh, that actually does hit. Nice. And then I'm gonna bite him. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Biting the people who bite. That does not hit. D4, come on. Let's hit if I do the D4. Or... It would not succeed. But no matter. Okay. Even with the 14? I... Uh, with a 14, no. Okay, I end my turn. 10th. Alright, gonna work my way behind. Yeah, use that cheeky flank. And I'm gonna start cutting his back. Use that flanking! <laughs> uh, the first one, no. Second one, yes. Every day of the week. And that's all I can do. Silence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who are these trolls? Like, what? Are, who are they looking at right now? The ones that are kind of... You too. Either of us in particular, or just us? Mostly you. Ah. Mm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm debating on you doing something. You hear one grunting about ha in giantish, so I'm not sure if you understand it. I don't. <laughs> so, Bobo, you hear this grunting behind you about how he hasn't tasted cat in a while. <laughs> um, I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> I want to do this, but I'm gonna. I, uh, <laughs> so. Run I'm, away! Uh, I'm it's gonna a go out. simple tactic for mages. Run. <laughs> yeah, I have misty step, and I was just thinking, like, yeet out of it. <laughs> do what you want. Go for okay, it. I just, I just don't want to leave you there. <laughs> Silence. This one just told you to run. Oh. In common? He's motioning very crazily, like. To run. <laughs> he, you can't understand it, but you can at least know that he's like pointing you in an opposite direction of the trolls. <laughs> like you won't do her any good to by this thing there. You're just going to get in the way. Just run and then try to shoot yeah. them while you're running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, come on. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. So feline agility and send it. There we go. So I can move quicker. <laughs> move 30 feet then because it's half my speed but also two times and that's what i can do in a bonus action Wait. right or half your speed one. what oh I'm, like i want to use my bonus action to do that and would that be half or is that not how it works i thought okay. it was half. what are you trying to do i want to run away from my bonus she's action. she's wanting to double her speed from feline agility then that lets you move 60 feet Okay. But it's also her racial trait, so it wouldn't be considered an action, it would be considered a bonus action. And I can move the full 60 feet in a bonus action? It doesn't take an action, it's just you move 60 feet. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, so I'm gonna move here, this is kind of out of the way enough, and then I'm going to cast, I'm gonna try to cast Aldrich Blast. Which one? Could you ping it? Oh, um, this one. Silence, for reference for anything or any spells or abilities that you read, if it doesn't specifically specify that it takes an action or bonus action, it's free. It doesn't okay. require any. Yeah, I was just... Like, I know that's my racial trait, but I was wondering how far I could move in my turn. It says it doubles your... I'm guessing your regular movement speed is 30. Yeah. So double it to 60. Mm -hmm. Still good. So then I want to finish my turn by casting Eldritch Blast just on that one. And the uh, 18 hits. Yeah, that hits. Mm -hmm. Hey, you hit! Woo! Yay, <laughs> I did it! And then 1d10 for damage. That's a 4. Wow. And it's force damage. Okay, Uzu. Oh, I thought it was the mentor's turn. Oh, she is currently 
focusing her all of her attention on holding that one troll. Okay, I am going to do something probably stupid, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to cast Calm Emotions and sticking it about right here, so about 20 foot radius. I'm radius. So pretty much all these guys in the circle. Gotta make a Chrism saving throw. Okay, or so, um... Oh, is it the players too? Charisma? Million, you'll need to make a Charisma saving throw. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, shit. Yep, fail. 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 <laughs> yep, fail. So what does this do exactly? Okay, there's two side effects. Either I can stop a charm or fright um, frightening spell, which that's not going to happen. Or alternative, I can make any hostile creature basically non-hostile. Uh, yeah, says Turnity, you can make the target indifferent about the creatures of your choice that is hostile towards. So we're not hostile. Basically, I calmed everybody down. What am I doing here? That's I was trying to get food. food. I believe you want food that way, and I pour it towards the forest. Ooh, plenty of wolf there, me go. Have a good hunt. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and that only lasts a minute, so we better hurry. <laughs> hey, so, is that all? <laughs> yep. So are you pacifying everybody because you might have pacified her and him and him? Yep. The ball, you seem nonplussed this turn. You seem non-interested in attacking any of the trolls currently. Can we all get in the wagon and get going, please? <laughs> I'm still in my big ass demon form for like six more seconds. <laughs> and then I and then it's gone. <laughs> oh well, born waiting in things. <laughs> Like they said, it's not the best thing ever, but it works. Okay, yeah, we should probably just start uh, going then. Yep, before the minute ends. <laughs> I climb on top of the cart and go to sleep. I hurry up and hop in. Uh, you are not free to move, Synth. There is still combat. Combat? This one was affected I, too. Yeah, that one oh, was affected too. The only one that wasn't was this one over here that was... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. he's in combat? Oh, shoot. He's in combat. No! That that one should have done a um, Christmas check too. Yeah, he was in the 20 foot radius. Yeah, he fell. He failed. <laughs> he just stares at you for a second and is like, hey, but I don't like you. And simply wanders off. Yep. Yeah, we're kind of washing everybody to the wagon. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> everybody seems calm except for me. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. Bye, lady. You just see the troll just sitting in the field. There's a bunny rabbit on top of its head, and you just see it, like, waving goodbye to you, saying something in giant you can't understand. Rosu, he said he's gonna eat you if you don't leave. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> he has a very kind smile on his face, and he just uh. waves bye to you. <laughs> he said he got five seconds. Let's go! <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really hostile. He's just joking, but she doesn't know that. <laughs> He's like, you're like, fuck this shit. Let's go. <laughs> oh, she's like counting down her head. She's like, only got a minute before they realize what happens. As you guys, as, uh, as, um, Barbarous uh, casts his spell to even go faster. Um, you guys here in the distance. Hey, wait a minute! Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, says the calm and non-hostile route can't be good? <laughs> You're just looking behind as you see very frustrated trolls, like, angrily pointing at you, saying something, like, like in giant, like, I'm going to eat your lips! Like, I'm going to defile your family! Stuff like that. I don't understand giants. I'm like waving. I'm like half a nut. calming them down. Oh, well, that's nice. And the very dumb one is just still waving goodbye, like, bye. That one right there is still saying he wants to eat you. 
Kids, the little girl gets your attention. She's like, "That was so impressive. You're uh, awesome." Violence is not always the answer. Uh, she's just cleaning her heart. It's like, oh my gosh. My mom likes violence. I don't like violence. You always smile when you're doing battle. It's not the point. She enjoys exercise. Exactly. Thank you, Rosie. I kind of like. Yeah, she enjoys violence. Thinking in my head. <laughs> She's like, wow, this is so impressive. Baros is still taking us on that detour I told him to take, right? I'm pretty sure even you all now understand what happened about the calming effect. Don't know if you're upset about it now. He's focused on something. Good. <laughs> Unless you want him to be focused on what you did. No, no, no. Just say. <laughs> continue on the journey. Uh, Barbarous takes a few more detours, and he you see that he has this sort of device on the sides of his, on his caravan, on his caravan, on his little wagon that basically brushes the trees with some kind of weird substance. Um, during this trip, I'm going to be telling the kids, um, uh, stories. <laughs> okay. Fine. Just like fairy tales and Beauty and the Beast and stuff like that. Little girl's eyes are sparkling currently, but the little boy seems very uninterested in true love and stuff like that. I don't care about the beast part. Gosh. Uh, Papyrus, what is that? What does that smell? Oh, the stuff that I'm brushing against the trees. Ah, yes. One know the secret. Sure. It's tell me your secret. Animals. Uh, it's to help predators not track us. So it's to keep them off our trail? Yes! That's what it's what we we'll, uh, it's a very rare item. It's dragon dung. <laughs> that I mean, what kind of predator would be so suicidal that they would track a dragon? Don't ask me how I got it, you don't want to know. I, I can draw that out in my head and I really don't want to. <laughs> As, as he's saying this, he abruptly brings the cart to a halt. A really sudden halt that lurches all of you forward. Oh, what the? Are we here? Why'd we stop? He is visibly shaking. Boy. Oh dear, don't tell me it's that guy again. Something's gonna look around and see, see why he's- Even, even Minotaur Woman is shaking in her boots currently. Can we see what they're scared of? A, well, I need a perception <laughs> check first. I cast the tech magic. <laughs> Do I ah, sense fudge. whatever is near us? <coughs> you sense it? Let me see first. I can sense ores. Yeah. No, I'm wanting to see if you can see it as well. Ah. Moment. Eight. Oh, we Sith came. Wow, These Sith. eyes are working okay. today. Sith, you instantly see what is in front of you. And, um, you don't know why they are shaking, but... Um, Ball, you do know why they are shaking even though you can't see it. Why? It is a very familiar man in black armor. Ooh, I knew it. Since, since points, it says we should, we need to go around. We need to go away. Away. Oh. What's going on? Black armor man. Ah, uh, fudge, 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 Go fudge. away. And you see him dragging something with one hand. Well, if he's not being aggressive towards us, like he wasn't in the village. No, what he, what he is dragging currently, Synth, makes you worried. What he is it? dragging behind him the severed head of a dragon with one hand. We need to go now. I am automatically... We need to go now. <laughs> and you guys are... Currently looking upon base of not only pure evil but pure badassery. And we're not moving, and it's coming towards us. Seth is yelling. Uh, we need to go now. 
He's yelling. Look, I don't have a yelling voice, sorry. He doesn't have a yelling voice, so he's calmly <laughs> trying to get the wizard guy to get going. I would just wave. Well, I'm actually, I don't even see him. Well, I know where it's at, so I would just wave in that direction. Horses don't seem to respond to anything that the master is saying because the master isn't doing anything. Oh, I thought there was no horses. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was, the elementals, you mean? You are right. The air elemental. Uh, you cannot see it unless you are magically inclined. Does you he can count as magically see it. inclined? I can see their aura. That's about it, though. So, Robert is frozen from fear, right? Currently, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Then I am quickly going to do calm emotions again. So he cannot be frightened, so he has to do a Christmas save. Interesting. Yes, I am trying to get this thing going. <laughs> ah, fudge. Uh-oh, that didn't work. Well, that was his charisma saving throw. Yeah, he rode way too high. <laughs> Alright, sometimes that's just how it, how it works. Mm. Is he somewhere on the map? No. Huh. All right, might as well no, do it. this is basically just theater of the mind currently. All right, might as well do it the old-fashioned way. So, walks over, gets over, it's closer to um, Babaros, smacks him across the head, wakes him up, tries to wake him. Roll for attack. <laughs> yeah, roll for attack, non-lethal damage. <laughs> Man in black armor snaps as soon as he uh, uh, he hears the slapping of flesh against flesh. Oh, shoot. He's looking directly at you guys. I'm all I'm automatically being protected against good and evil on me. <laughs> this is the first time he has look uh, like he has ever looked at you, and you cannot see any eyes underneath that helm. <laughs> Babaros, wake up! We need to you go. You can feel the sheer evil upon you. Is Babaros so worried now? And he is a good sixty feet out. Ball is just laying down on the cart, just looking at him, but he's not gonna. I'm not doing anything to like prepare for him to come this direction. Ball doesn't feel like he's going to do anything aggressive towards us, so he's just relaxing. Is he awake yet? <laughs> he starts walking towards the car. <laughs> I think you guys are just overreacting. Continuing to drag the giant <clears throat> dragon's head with him. Is he awake? Is he awake? Is he awake? Well, Ball, you are beginning to feel the absolute evil coming towards you. That's fine. So? <clears throat> I'm still just relaxing here. I mean, there's nothing that can be done unless Barbara wakes up. So. You're like, you're like, what? Why isn't anything happening? Hear him drop the, you see him drop the lower jaw, <laughs> what he was gripping, down to the ground with a boom. He proceeds to float upwards. <clears throat> and he looks directly at all of you. Slowly turning his head each time he comes to a new face. He takes about 10 seconds for each face. Then he floats back down to the ground again. Is he wake? We go. You hear a rasping noise coming out from his helmet. As he proceeds to put out one finger, a purple light proceeds to show from it. <laughs> that will be better. Calm down. He proceeds to shoot a magic missile through your shoulder ball. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, where he was aiming, it went through another shoulder. I mean, I'm laying down, like, on my Did side. Did it hit, hit Boris? Hit the kid. Fudge. He's screaming in agony currently. I am doing healing word on him. I cast Lion's Heart on Barbarous. It's okay, it's okay, kid. You hear him speak for the first time. Next time you come through my territory, do not make such noise, or I will destroy you. Proceeds to pick up lower jaw of the dragon again and walks, starts walking away. At oh, this you point, see? Ball, you can't feel your right arm. As I say, see, nothing to worry about. At this point, he after just he shot at us. Oh. He, he quite literally shot you. In the kid. Like I said, we're not dead, right? Is the kid okay now? He's still screaming in agony. Uh, okay. Another healing word. This time... 
Does it feel like I'm oh, poisoned? Oh, freaking really? Me? Pa bloody. I think he went to go to get his tea. It, it was whistling. Yeah, sorry. My teapot started whistling, so I had to tip her over and pour her out. The kid also heals for eight more points. <clears throat> there is still a sizable chunk of, like, just hole in her shoulder. Oh my gosh! Healed. She is healed, but there's still a chunk of hole in her shoulder. She's healed, but there's a huge skull? Um, sc scar? A hole oh. in her shoulder. Does it feel like I'm poisoned or something? Um, <clears throat> no. It feels necrotic. Guys! Well, I guess I could still see yeah. magic. So like, I can't so heal I this hole! Didn't. There is a hole! Is the hole still bleeding? No, oh, it's healed, but there's a hole! I'm going to use... Is the girl's still screaming. <laughs> wow, and I didn't take the one spell that would have been useful here. That's crazy. Well, she isn't screaming in pain. She's just screaming at the fact that there's a hole in her shoulder. Okay, I'm going to use prestigitation to try and, like... No, I'm going to use minor illusion to try and just cover up the hole to calm her down. Repair <laughs> 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 the hole <laughs> and try to calm her down. Oh my gosh. As soon as he, the mysterious person gets up more than 60 feet away, Barbara snaps out of it. I mean, I cast Lion's Heart on him, so he should have been fine. <laughs> he was still shaking at the moment. Even with Lion's Heart, that makes him immune to fear? Well, no, he's shaking. Uh, he has Lion's Heart on him, yes. But the problem is he was still shaking from the memory. He's not afraid. He was just... Traumatized. Yes, exactly. Traumatized. Thank you. He was like, move aside. I'll take care of the hole. Uh, I'm just going to go. Oh, I need to toughen up. I'm going to step out of the wagon and just hold my stomach. Yeah, I'm going to just step to the side and make. Yeah, all you hear is about bite down on this. I look at the ball. I'm like, do you have a hole in your shoulder? He does. I know. I lay back on my back to try to <laughs> hide it that I got hurt. You're just going I'm to just hide like it. Back down on the top. Okay. You hear um, muffled screams as he proceeds to do what you assume is surgery. Okay, I'm walking away farther, but not towards where the shadow guy went. That's completely understandable. As soon as he's done, it takes him about 30 minutes to complete this task. He pops up his head onto the top of the wagon. He was like, do you want me to sew that up? Sure. Very well. Bite down on this. He proceeds to give you a stick. I don't need that. Just do it. Okay, he pulls out a hammer and a nail. What a giant the... mallet and a nail. Okay. Puts the nail to your flesh and proceeds to... Can I get a constitution saving throw from you? <laughs> How is this surgery? I don't know why he's putting a nail into me, but okay. <laughs> is what he's doing to me, like, is the, like, the things he's using magical? Because I can uh, still see magic currently, because my detect magic is still up. Yes, the things he are using is currently magic, yes. Okay, what's the schools? Uh, it is considered, um, a hot second while I look up the actual items, so I'm not bullshitting you. <laughs> Dang, 17. <laughs> Silence, are you by, um, Rosu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you got off of it. No, I'm just inside. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh that baby fun. Okay. <laughs> it's divination. Okay. Oh, look, I rolled a 17. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, kind of did it for you. Um, you're, you were, you were about two seconds away from biting your tongue off before you just bite your lower lip. You just go, <laughs> proceeds to do it four more times. I'd say with that roll, you're more than fine to just, you know, bear the pain, but you're not happy that it's a lot more pain than you were expecting. Apparently a lot more than that shot. As he finishes off, you notice that the flesh has mended over. There is some scar tissue, yes, um, but it is completely closed over and it has mended itself. Can I feel my arm again? Yes. It's like, you're very lucky. If it went any further up your up your up your shoulder, you would have lost the arm. Then I would have told you to make me a new one. <laughs> we don't even have that technology. <laughs> Magic. Thank you for your help. 
It's no problem, laddie. Although, I honestly hope to dare to the dear nine gods that I never, ever see that man again. Ever. Next time you gotta toughen up for when he does show up, because he har he just put harm towards your family and you were just frozen. Hey, that is, and I am ashamed of it. In all it's of my, fine. In all of my years, I've even encountered dragons multiple times. Pure evil dragons, and I've never felt that kind of evil coming from them. Well, let's find somewhere to um, settle down for the night. I think everybody could use a bit of a breather after that. I that is true. So, we will travel for two more hours and then take a slight detour so that we can rest down for the night. Does that sound good to everyone? Yeah. That should work. Yeah. Although, I'd rather not use my supplies. So, we'll need a hunting party. I'll go today. I didn't go last time. I'll I'm pass. Fair. Yeah, I'm same. I went one. Okay. All right, Aruka will go with you on the hunt. Uh, you two go out to hunt. I'm going to roll something to see what you guys find. 32. Da, 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 da. Ooh, this one's going to be interesting. So, Ball, hmm. you, got, you two track down some or okay so here's how it's gonna work you will need to fight these boars and kill them bring them back that sounds easy enough <laughs> monitor woman uh proceeds to like tell you and like very silently that she will basically use her scent to throw them off by moving behind them and force them in your direction okay she proceeds to sneak off and what's it? Yes, minute. Sneaky is the picture. <laughs> Have you ever seen that cartoon of like that very cartoonish, like a uh, uh, robber, like tiptoeing very obviously with like a big money bag? Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. That's what she's doing. <laughs> so all I have to do is just charge them and kill them. Oh well, she's, she's gonna scare. Yeah, she's gonna scare them. Yeah, to she's you. gonna scare them to you. And I, all have the time, I could probably hit them with uh, Balor's presence. All of a sudden, you just see. Her rain down her, like, bring down her mighty great axe with one hand and automatically slaughter one of them, and they just bolt your direction. Uh, in preparation, I would have used my uh, elemental weapon again, because why not? I had time for it. And the first one that comes at me, I'll slash that. What kind of damage? I need to know. Uh, it'll be like lightning. Lightning, yep. Even with that lightning god thing i'm impressed uh can you roll for me please yep see if you actually hit it <laughs> that's shitty actually that will hit it it is a boar it doesn't have very high class okay and it's an extra d8 oh so 11 damage how do you want to kill that one <laughs> <laughs> when it runs by i just splash upwards towards its neck and i just let it keep running for a quick second before it finally crumples <laughs> it's like <laughs> Ball, you see it coming for you. You see the alpha boar coming for you. It has scars on its face and everything. It's been through many a battle. You see that one of its tusks is like broken off. I was stick my sword into the ground and basically motion for it to charge at me and I'm gonna try to catch its horn. Hey, I'm gonna roll an attack. It's gonna use its charge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that hits me. <laughs> So, I need to do, do a strength saving throw really quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Why don't you just fucking pancake me? I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I actually gotta roll, like, it's strength versus yours. My strength save or my athletics versus it? No, he's rolling it's strength. Oh. You are thrown prone. <laughs> sort of circles around, does a little shimmy. It's very, very happy about what it's done. Uh, it's gonna- I'm gonna roll damage for it really quickly. Mm-hmm. Six? Okay. Takes a decent amount of chunk out of your leg, and it's- It's like shimming in a way, kind of bragging about what it did. And okay. it's coming I'm back for another. I'm gonna just stand up, and I'm gonna run towards it, grab it, and try to pick it up and slam it. Give me a strength throw. First, yeah, strength throw. Strength throw athletic. Uh, athletic, strength, whatever. I'll go with athletic, because that's way higher. <laughs> 15. Well, consistent. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm going to roll for it. Um, you won't be able to pick it up, but you can pin it to the ground. I oh, I can't pick it up? Unfortunately, no. Oh. It has a decent amount of weight to it, and you did not make a high enough athletics check. I have powerful build. My strength is double when it comes to lifting. Well, yeah, you count one size larger when determining weight. You can push, drag, or lift. Okay, then that actually makes a difference, because... <laughs> Yeah, you'll be able to lift it. So, how are you lifting it? So when it just comes at me or tries to knock me up, I just grab it by its horns and just pick it up by its horns over my head and then just slam it. It's, it's squealing and then all of a sudden you slam it and it stops. <laughs> and then I just drag it and then I just uh, sheath my sword to my side and I start dragging it by its horn and then grab just the other one by this. its <laughs> I'm very impressed. Yeah, you didn't do too bad yourself. Oh, yeah, I know. She holds up four of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just start dragging the shit back with, with me. She, she's talking you along the way, like, you know, like, you know, I have never seen someone slam an alpha boar to the ground and kill it in my life. You didn't do too bad yourself. Four of four boars. Ah, what That's... can I say? You're the breadwinner in the family. Well, eat winner in the family. <laughs> gotta learn these things. We gotta spar someday. Oh, I would love that. Although my kids would probably hate that. <laughs> nah, your son seems like he would enjoy it. Probably. They get to see their mom beat up an oni. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be careful. You gotta get my husband's permission before you do that. <laughs> we'll talk about it. I have a good feeling that he'll okay it. You know, the, she goes on to tell you, like, stories about, like, her biggest kill ever. She proceeds to tell you a fantastical story about how she managed to um, take down what's what she liked to call an obsidian horse hmm. by just ramming into it with her horns. That's impressive. What's like, how how long does it take to fully clean your horns after you gore some? Oh, well, before I met my husband, it would take at least five hours, but he knows the spell pre, 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 that word. So he cleans it right up. Look at the split. That's impressive. Yeah. Although I miss cleaning my own horns from time to time. It's very therapeutic. And don't tell them you need them cleaned. Especially with two kids in tow. You guys get back to camp with six boars in tow. We're eating good tonight. Uh, I think I'll skip. Okay. And then I just... <laughs> I look at Synth and I just say, vegetarian? I'm an omnivore, dude. I'll eat it. I'll eat anything as long as it's cooked. <laughs> Rosu, mm -hmm. the little girl is um, coming up to you with like a Bambi look in her eyes. You feeling any better? She doesn't say anything. She just hugs you. Rosu hugs back. You, fe you feel something incredibly wet and sticky start getting onto your um, clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And she... She's crying her eyes out, and she's like, you can hear muffled cries of, like, thank you. I'm so thank you. <laughs> Rosu just pats her back. It's like, oh, probably after dinner, I'll tell you another of my stories. Okay, hold on. She runs back to the cart. She comes back. She holds out another bowl of vegetable soup. One for you and one for her. I'm not very hungry, but thank you. Uh, hey, cat lady! Ah, what? Want some vegetable soup? Sure. <laughs> she runs over, gives it to you. Yeah! <laughs> thank you. She's like, you know, I have never seen one of your kind before. I just want to say, you remind me of Mr. Fluffer Muffins. <laughs> Who, who's Mr. Fluffer Muffins? And you, and she points directly behind her, and you see her brother is currently holding what seems to be a very small pet cat. Ah, oh. Same color fur as you. 
Oh no. Mm. Yeah, L lovely. That's Thanks Mr. Fluffer Buffins. I can see the similarities. Mm. He disappears oh. to thin air. It's amazing. Mm. Anywho, enjoy the soup. <laughs> she runs back over to Rosu. Oh my. Speaking of silence, what are you doing after she says this? I'm just like sitting there thinking, like, am I a cat? <laughs> am I a human? <laughs> You didn't no, mean to offend. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> he knows. But it's like, oh, what am I? You're having an existential crisis. Thank you. I cannot speak English today. I used to speak well, very English, very good. Thank you. Synth is over by the side, snickering to himself, hearing that. <laughs> Pupper, she is trying to pull a a leg of a boar that is way too big for her over to you. She's struggling with it, and she manages to finally pull it over to you, sits down, wags her tail, looks up with you, looks up at you, looks at the leg, looks up at you, looks up at the leg, looks up at you. I pick up the leg and pet it on the head. Um, you might want to start a new lawn service with this dog because it is currently cutting the grass because its tail is wagging so fast. <laughs> uh, do we have any bones? I sh I would, do I have any more bones from the other fish? Yes, you do. Plenty. Oh, yeah. I give it, I give it a bone. It's all of a sudden. <laughs> it is way too big to fit in her mouth. So, basically, her mouth can only go to, like, halfway above the bone, and she's just biting it, playing with it, like, <laughs> Something's delighted. Silence. You, you seem very confused about this presence of, like, your existential crisis. Yeah, I said it, it's a miracle! Um, and you notice... Out of the corner of your eye, you see something pure white in the darkness of the, um, forest. Hmm. Um, how can I tell, like, if it's close to me in the forest, or...? Uh, you can. You can clearly see it through the, through the fire. It is staying its distance, and you can clearly see what it is. Seeing a unicorn. <gasps> oh my, oh no. <laughs> That's when it's tear. It's or maybe I don't know, but um. Looks at you, sort of bows its head with its eyes closed, looks to the ground on the opposite side of it, and just walks off and vanishes into the tree line. You said it looked at the ground beside it. Is there something there? Yes. Well, you would have to walk over there to see, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll, I'll walk over there. <laughs> so, you see something on the ground. It looks to be a magical staff. Oh, can I inspect it? Yes, you can. Investigation? I'll say more Maybe. like Arcana. Okay. Oh, that's oh. A one. <laughs> you do not know the first thing about it. You just know that it's pretty. <laughs> it came from a unicorn. Um, hmm. <sighs> I... <laughs> I'm not very good at decision. I'm gonna. T is Barbarus like? Is he awake? Yes. He's um, currently enjoying dinner with his kids. Oh. And is currently making his wife look away from him from embarrassment because he's nudging her a little. Uh. You can see her face, and f underneath her fur, you can see that her fur is getting a little bit reddish. Okay, maybe not him. But, um. <laughs> Um, I think I'll walk over, um, Rosa, Rosu, ah, Rosu, that's how you say it, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna walk over to you then, yeah, and ask. <laughs> think hey. of Rose, but just put a zoo on it. <laughs> um, could you, like, look at it for no reason? Just, what do you think of it? Okay, it's a staff for sure. Do you Let's... see anything? Okay, check! Mm -hmm. check! It's a magical staff. Ah, that's what I, I expected that. Arborist okay. takes one look at it. Where blue places did you find that? The ground. 
Yes, I get that, but where? Why? How? There, um, I, it was just there. I looked over the campfire. The only and way you can get that thing is saw a unicorn. Wait, what? Let's say I did. <gasps> um, what? what is this? This. I want to see what. Is a magical staff blessed to someone. This item only appears if a magic caster manages to catch the eye of a unicorn. It gives freely a part of itself to that magic caster. Oh, oh wow. This is, this is the staff known as Unicorn's Blessing. Hmm. That's where we're going to end the session.